Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these um, really pretty flowers and we make them only on a hook. Um, it's a hook and bands. I got yelled at before for my rainbow that I didn't include that you needed bands as well. Um, so um, we use rubber bands and a hook to make these. Um, they're not too 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 hard. If you made the rainbow you should be able to make these. Um, I just think that they're really adorable because they're they kind of have a nice little cupped appearance to them, kind of delicate looking. I think they're adorable. Hopefully you do as well. And if people are enjoying these, um, I do have a larger version that I put together um, that has a little bit more detail in it and obviously takes more bands and it's just kind of fun. So I might put this one out as well. just really kind of depends on the kind of response I get on this, if anybody wants to make it or not. But they're fun. Uh, the band counts for these. Um, for the center, it's 22 bands. Um, for the like the purple in this one, it's 80 bands or 81 bands. And then the outside perimeter, the green on this one, is 60 bands. Pretty sure that I counted correctly on the outside perimeters. Um, I might have been off by a band or two um, in my total count, but um, I know the center is 22. And it might be helpful to actually count out 22 when we do the center, so that way um, you definitely know that you have your base circle right. So, we'll get started. And I'm going to use green for my center circle. And I'm just going to take one band, and we're starting in the center, right here. One band on your hook, wrap it around once. And you're going to take another band, pull it through your center, put the other end back on the hook, and then pull up another band and back on the hook. So now we have that. So now we're going to go back into the center, take another band, pull it up, put the other end on the hook, and take another band and pull it through everything on your hook and then put it back on. And go back in the center, pull up another band, both ends on the hook, another band through everything, back on the hook, back through the center, on the hook, band through everything. We're just going to keep doing this until we have 10 stitches around. So back in the center, pull up a band, band through everything, back in the center, pull up a band, band through everything. Back in the center, both on, pull up a band. Back in the center, pull up a band, back in the center, Pull up a band, and center one more time, pull a band through everything, and back on the hook, and then what you can do um, is if you can count to make sure that we have the 10 stitches that we need. So, and the stitches are these little kind of teardrop shape right around the outside. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I have the tenth on the hook. So we're going to go in through the first stitch of the one we made with our hook, 
take another band, pull it through everything on the hook, and then make a slip knot. So that is our center. And you can count again if you need you want to make sure, start at your knot and go around. So there should be 10 little spots all the way around your circle. Um, you can leave your tail loose and then tuck it in later. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take it and kind of hold it behind my first stitch, which is right here. Put my hook in there. I'm just going to tuck my tail on there. It'll secure it. It's not going to hide super well, but it'll hide well enough. So now we're going to make the the petal part here, the inside, and we're going to take a band, pull it through, put both ends on the hook, pull up another band, and I'm just starting to the left of the knot. It's not a huge deal where you start, but two bands pulled up through there, and I snagged my tail here. Now we're going to go in through that next stitch, right here. I'm actually going to snag my tail again, so it kind of hides closer to the design. Then I'm going to pull up three bands, or one band at a time, so one band three times. So pull a band up on the hook. Then we're going to take and pull up another band, just through that first band on the hook. So we're not touching the first one we did. And then third time. Like that. Another band through everything. Both on the hook. Now you're going to go back into that same stitch we were just working on. And pull up three more bands just like we did. So pull it through on the hook. Pull another one through on the hook, and the third one, and then a band through everything, like that. And again, once more, we're going back in that same spot, and pulling out three more, so one, two, and three, and then a band through everything. So you can kind of see, looks like little chains. So now what you're going to do is take another band, pull it through the top, and then come down into the next stitch over on our circle center. Take a band and pull it through the circle center and through the other bands on your hook. And then put both ends on. So that's what we have now. Then we're going to chain one. So one. Then we're going to go into the next stitch over. Do that same pulling up three bands three times. So one, two, and three. And then a band through everything. Same stitch, pull up three bands. One, two, and three, and then a band through everything, and then again, in the same one, pull up three, and then a band through everything. and then chain one. 
and bring it back down to the next stitch over in our circle. Take a band, pull it through the circle, and then pull it through what's on your hook, and then put it back on the hook, like that. And then chain one. Then we're going to go into the next stitch over and do the same thing, bringing up the three bands. So one, two, and three, and then a band through everything. Same stitch, pull a band up three times, so there's one, two, three, and a band through everything. Same stitch, pull up three, two, three, and then a band through everything. Then chain one, go into the next stitch over, take a band, pull it through this circle, and then through what's on your hook, and then back on the hook. So now we have three petals. So chain one, then go into the next stitch over. Pull up the three bands again. Then a band through everything. Same stitch, pull up three bands. Two three, and a band through everything, back in the same stitch, three more, and then a band through everything, and then chain one, Then you'll go into the next stitch over, take a band, pull it up, pull it through what's on your hook, and back on the hook. Chain one more. Then we're going to go in through the next stitch, which looks like the last one, and then we're going to combine into the next one. So the last stitch. Pull up the three bands again. And a band through everything. Same stitch, pull up three bands. band through everything. I try not to keep talking through the entire thing, but it doesn't take very long to make this, so hopefully you won't get too annoyed. And then one more time, chain three in the same stitch. And a band through everything. And a chain one. Then what you're going to do is come down in between here and you're just going to go on this same stitch from before, take a band, pull it through, or the same stitch as the first stitch that we used I guess, put it that way, 
pull a band through, pull it through what's on your hook, put it back on, and just do a slip knot. So there we go. Five petals. Um, some band choices, depending on what you use. Um, this looks pretty good with just this layout, but they all differ, so I mean, you can tell this one's kind of flat overall, and this one's more cupped on the sides, and this one's kind of in between. This one's definitely a little bit different. but So, now the fun part. We add the little pizzazz to the edges. And how oh, we're going to do that. Starting in that same spot where we ended, um, you can either tuck this in again, you can um, tie it in like I did with the last one. I'm actually going to leave this one free and just kind of weave it into the edges as we go. So what you're going to do is stick your hook through the stitch again down here, grab a band, pull it up, then you're going to go and if you pull the petal apart you have like these the outside two bands then there's the three bands pulled up in the center and then the outside band over here what we're going to do after we got this one pulled up over here we're going to go between this outside band and the three bands together so go between there grab another band Pull it up, get that other band out of my way, pull it up, put it on your hook, and then you're going to take another band and pull it through everything. So like that. Now what we're going to do is we switch and we go in the top of these stitches, like here's a stitch, it's actually a triple, and the top here there are actually three of them. We're going to go in through those stitches at the top for our next um, crochets, I guess. So we're going through the first one. So we wrapped around the um, kind of the pole here. I guess I should have tucked that in. It keeps getting in the way. We're going to go through the first pin here at the top. Take a band, pull it up, put it on our hook. Then take another band through everything. Then go into the next stitch over. Pull up a band. Both ends on the hook. And then take another band through everything. And again, we're going to go through the next stitch over, pull up a band, and then take a band through everything. Then our next one is going to go around the chain on the other side. So stick your hook in between here, grab a band, pull it around. And then take a band through everything. Now what you're going to do is go in through kind of the middle point between the flowers here, flower petals, and there's the stitch right here where they met. You're going to go back in there, take a band, pull it up, put both ends on your hook, and then pull a band through everything. And that's basically one petal done. And we just repeat the pattern as we go around. So now we're going to wrap around the first chain. So you're going to go in between the three stitches up in the chain, pull up a band, 
then take a band through everything. Now we have the three stitches along the top we're going to go into. Let's go into the first one, pull a band through, take another band, pull it through everything, go into the next stitch over, take a band and pull it through on the hook, band through everything, and then the next stitch over again. Take a band, pull it through on the hook, band through everything. Now we're going to wrap around that chain again on the other side of the pedal. So through on the hook, then take a band through everything. Then we're going to go back into that center stitch between the two petals down here in your circle. Pull a band up on the hook and pull a band through everything. So there's two petals. And just keep repeating around. I'll probably just keep going and letting you see what I'm doing. I'll probably talk a little bit. I'm just kind of habit. And um, then we'll kind of take a look at the end, how to close it. But just keep going around. So the next one is through that stitch, or through the between the chain and the three stitches. Pull a band up. Band through everything. What I was trying to say there was that I'm not going to fast forward through it. So I'll just leave it so that you can watch if you need to top, band up, band through. There's the top three stitches, so then around the chain on the side. Everything on the hook. Then go in through that center petal. Pull up a band. Band through everything around the post. Band through everything. Top three stitches. Now for the top three, we're going to go around the post. And we're going to go in through that center. Band through everything. And around the next post, band through everything, top of the puddle,
them then around the post. This is the last post. Band through everything. And then we're just going to go in through that first spot that we were stitching out of. So let's go in through there. Take another band, pull it through, pull it through everything, both ends back on your hook, and do that slip knot. So, adorable little flower. You stretch out your petals a little bit. I think band choice makes a difference in what it'll look like when you're completed. Um, can't really help you with that one as well as um, these are all rainbow loom bands that I used here so but the tails you want to weave them in so if you come around to like the back side you can find a place usually to just kind of pull them weave in and pull through and you can find other ways to secure them as well. And this one we're just going to go through the stitches. So like so. Of course, just popped out again. Do we that one a little better? But I think they're adorable. I hope you do too. So I definitely love to crochet and um, this kind of gives me a little bit of an outlet doing that while I'm also rainbow looming so I think it's pretty fantastic. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I, I was very surprised to see how many people really enjoy doing the rainbow. Um, that was very cool. But I just thought I'd try something a little bit different and of course I guess I'm a girl so I try flowers. Um, I do have some other stuff that is hook only but um, this is for starters, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I probably should have said this at the first, at the beginning of the video, but um, everybody has different skill levels as far as being able to do stuff like this. Um, when I first started to crochet, it was all foreign to me. I couldn't hold the yarn. I, it was just, it seemed like it was going to be absolutely impossible for me to do. And then it was just like one day it just clicked, and after that, it's just I couldn't put my hooks down. So. Um, it really is just something that, you know, some people get it right away and you wonder how in the world they do that. And other people, they have to work at it. And I, I know that I had to work at it at first to understand it. And um, starting with small projects is always the best idea. Um, don't tackle this giant blanket or something that you want to do because um, you'll get frustrated quickly. Small stuff. Little stuffed animals, adorable with the crochet. So if you'd like to um, share pictures of the, any flowers that you make onto my Instagram, it's at Crafting Fantastic, or my Facebook page. Um, both the links are underneath my video for those, or the, the description of where they are, what my names are again. And then, um, of course, subscribing to my channel will be the best way to know when I'm coming out with new things, because that's always cool too, to be the first ones to know, since this is the first place I go to release things. But I want to thank you very much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I will have more tutorials for you soon.